guys, we've had some insane times together, and I'm gonna miss them all. Uh, like when Ernie was so out of it, we had to take him to the ER. <laughs> or, or Kathy, when Kathy got on the wrong bus and we had to come get her in Kansas City. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Well, here's to good friends. Uh, we're sure gonna miss you, kid. You're the best aide we ever had. And no one got me cleaner. Where are you going again, son? Well, I'm following the Lewis and Clark trail, Ernie. What the hell for? Uh, it's kind of a vision quest. I'm heading out to find myself. You know, become a man. Go get him, kiddo. Uh, but who'll sponge us down now? Don't worry, guys. You're in great hands with Kurt. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Elderly folks, how's it hanging? You're late. Oh, I was busy, dude. See, we wanted to do something totally cool for your big send-off and whatnot. So, Gary, get ready to rock! <laughs> Take all the credit though, bro. It was mostly Mike's idea. <laughs> hey, where is Mike anyway? You know, Sandy, I think I really need to gouge my eyes out. Why? Because then I could die knowing that the last thing I saw is you, Sandy. The most beautiful thing on earth. Oh, Mike, you are so romantic. By the way, my name is Julie. Right. <laughs> Time. No, he's got Parkinson's! Right on! No, shut it down! Shut it down now! Oh, yeah! Oh, my God! They blew the power! Thank you! Good night! You're gonna be okay, Ernie. Okay? Ernie? Are you still... Okay, bye-bye, Ernie. I really admire what you're doing. They may be elderly, but they're still people. Not the geezers. They're creepy. I mean, your trip, man. I've been dreaming about hitting the road for years, but you're actually doing it. I guess somebody had to. Who would have thought old Hall Monitor Newton would be the first guy in our class to break out of this hellhole? <laughs> you, know, so, you know, sometimes you just got to grab the bull by the horns and go for it. It's going to be so awesome, dude. Taking life as it comes with nobody telling you what to do. That's right, Beth. There ain't nobody telling Mr. Gary Newton what to do. Don't blow this like you've blown everything else in your miserable, pathetic little life! Yes, sir. Now, in 1804, your ancestor... William Clark. ...along with Meriwether Lewis, traveled 8,000 miles of America's western wilderness blazing... The Lewis and Clark Trail. ...surviving blizzards, hostile natives, and venereal disease from less hostile natives. They returned... Heroes. ...as did every male descendant in the Newton bloodline. And now that you are finished with college, you will follow the trail. You will return a man, or you are dead to me as a son. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Platinum card, only for emergency. Charlton Heston narrated cassette. This will guide you to each predetermined stop. And for your journey, you will travel in this. Wow. Dad, the SUV. If anything happens to my sports utility vehicle or any of the gear stowed on or above it, you are personally responsible. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Yes, sir. Have a great trip, son. And come back a man. Dismissed. Don't fail. <laughs> Please, God, don't fail. I won't, Mom. Rise and shine, slumber buddy. It's your wedding day. Oh, my God. Oh, wait a minute. Where, where am I? This isn't my room. You're not my mother. Hey, who are you people? Dad! Dad. 
By the time I get back, I'll be the care you've always wanted me to be. Guy. It's more like what I did to his daughter. You're unbelievable. Can you ever get through a day without pissing somebody off? Where's the joy in that? Because I slept with someone else last night, Steve. What did you do? What did you just do? I told Steve everything. This way is so off. You told Steve? Police Chief Riker's son, Steve, that the wedding's... Oh, yes. I don't think you understand, Lollipop. This, this was Daddy's one shot at a desk job and a big fat pension. Tell me you didn't just blow this for us. This isn't about you. This is about me. I'm into Mike now, Dad. I don't love Steve and I'm not gonna marry him, ever. Oh, okay. Very well then. Where are you going? Dick! You'll see. Where can I drop you off? Where are you going? I'm following the Lewis and Clark trail, remember? Oh yeah, that thing. Hey, I'm in. In what? What are you talking about? I'm going with you. Sounds like a party. No way. I'm supposed to do this alone. You? You can't do this alone. You're a target, Gary. A natural victim. If you're on the Discovery Channel, you'd be a wildebeest. No, no, I've been saving you from getting your ass kicked since kindergarten. Oh, yeah, name three times. Tim Zander. All right, that's three. You need me, Gary. Hey, Lewis had a Clark, didn't he? Yeah, but you don't have any clothes or any gear. Have toothbrush? We'll travel. What about cash? 300 bucks, the last of my college fund. Well, what about your folks? Are they going to be cool with you just suddenly splitting for three months? Only one way to find out. In conclusion, I think the trip will not only prove invaluably educational, but spiritually fulfilling as well. What do you say? I knew you'd understand. home for dinner? Hello, I'm Charlton Heston. Welcome to the Lewis and Clark Trail Audio Guide. <sighs> As you pass hey, uh, Gary, zero, uh, does this trail go anywhere near, uh, like, Hawaii? Because remember Heather, the kneeler, wheeler? Well, she, she moved there. No, Mike, the trail doesn't go anywhere near Hawaii. Well, she's got a sister, squealer wheeler. No, Mike! You Shh. got the oil. I'm Get listening to the tape. Fix her squeal. We're not going to know where any parts of the trail are if you keep talking, Mike. Lewis and Clark carried an incredible arsenal of weapons with them. I hope you're packing, too. Anyway. Imagine, Dad. I'm sitting here on the banks of the river where Lu Young man. Oh my god. Lewis and Clark. That's right, son. We've come to warn you. About what? Your friend Mike. He's an idiot. He just picked up a hitchhiker. Wait, I told him not to. Just take a whiff, hot shot. I hear you. It's hotter than blazes out there. I must stink. <laughs> hey, name's Trapper Jack. Mike, I told you no hitchhikers. Hey, relax. Trapper's not just a hitchhiker. He knows all about the trail. Really? Sure. Hey, matter of fact, there's a place just upriver where Lewis and Clark were attacked by a tribe of savages. Well, for your information, Mr. Jack, Lewis and Clark did not encounter any Native Americans until the Sioux at Council... Council Bluffs. That's right. <laughs> I know. You won't find this place in none of your history books. It happened three days before Council Bluffs, and that's the truth. <laughs> wow. If you want, I could take you out there. Yeah, sure. All righty. 
All righty. We're not anywhere near the trail, are we? No, but you sure as hell are being attacked by savages. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what? It's funny. Now give me your wallet, real slow. Yeah. All right, a platinum card. <laughs> oh my God, this for emergencies only. Shut your pie hole, pudgy, or I'll blow out your kneecaps. Now take off them clones. You guys aren't gonna hurt us, are you? What are you talking about? Uh, he means uh, hurt us in a squeal like a pig deliverance kind of way. Oh no, not again. He didn't mean it, Trapper. Yes, he did. They all do. Ever since that damn movie. <laughs> Trapper is the bravest man I know. And when you label him with a stereotype like that, well, mister, it hurts. It really hurts. I want to go now. To alert you to the dangers of picking a bitch up. Never, never. Oh my god, the SUV! It's gone. What would Lewis and Clark think? Hold him up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, why are you being all Mr. Negative? It's just a car. I've been on my own for eight hours and I've already failed. Oh, you always have to look on the dark side. You should never have picked Instead up Instead of Mike. saying, oh, we lost the, the, the car, car try like of this. Doing anything right. Hey, except we lost for this. The car. Ah! <laughs> Die! Die, you miserable bastard! You ruined everything in my whole life! <gasps> what was that? They're back. Oh, no! <gasps> hey, maybe they just want to cuddle. What? What do we do? Make dinner. No way. Yes way. I'm hypoglycemic. If I don't eat soon, I'll go primal. You saw alive, didn't you? But... It's a bunny. It's a male. We can't kill something that cute. Don't think cute, man. Just look at it and picture something you hate. Yeah. Aim for its head. Oh! This tastes really good. It almost makes you forget that we had to watch it twitch for half an hour. Plus, we can use the tendons to floss with. Yeah, you know, maybe that little rabbit's turned our luck around. I'll bet that they're gonna find the car, all the gear, the kayak, the platinum card, my inhaler. You know, I think we're gonna be okay. Aren't we, Mike? You bet we are. We just found us a good luck charm. Get up! We got at least a 15 mile hike back to civilization. Snowball, come and get it. Snowball, where are you? Snowball? Damn, man, we'd slaughter a baby rabbit. I'd freeze my ass off all night, and the whole time we're sitting in someone's backyard? I'm freaking believable, man. <laughs> Satanic ceremony, you sacrificed and ate a pet rabbit. You boys picked the wrong county for your little dance with the devil. We're just following the Lewis and Clark trail. Or like the Satan and Satan trail. Don't we get a phone call? Give him a quarter and get him out of my sight. We left yesterday and it's already over. Things could be worse. I'm not talking to you, Mike. <laughs> Guard, I need my inhaler. I'm having trouble breathing. Hey, kid, I'll clear your pipes out for you. <laughs> I told you things could be worse. Shut up or I swear to God I'll kill you. All right, fellas, you're, you're free to go. What? Lucky for you, your story checked out. Great. Uh, we found your vehicle, too. 
<laughs> thank you, God! Nice to hear you thank the Lord, son. Good choice. When you get to the impound lot, give this to Calvin and he'll get your car. Thank you, sir. You boys stay out of trouble. Oh, we will, sir. From here on out, it's all good. Damn it! Damn it! The power of Christ compels you. How long have you been killing for sight? It's okay. You're safe now. Hey, thanks for saving us. No, thank you. You guys are really further in the cause. Satan, Satan rocks! All right, Kevin, let's bleed for the Dark Lord! No one can hurt me. Come on, Lord, Lord, no one can hurt me. Come on. What's up with him? Oh, uh, he, he's a uh, chant, you know, for evil. You know, you guys can just drop us off anywhere. Uh, in fact, this place is as good as any. Oh, look, dude, Calvin's impound lot. Is this our lucky day or what? SUV? Oh, yeah, sure, that black one just came in. Oh, no, it's not black. It is now. Gary, you all right? They torched it. Everything's gone. Not everything. I just found my toothbrush. Successfully completed the Lewis and Clark Trail. Congratulations. Look, I, I know how important this trip was for you, and, and I totally destroyed it. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Gary, please talk to me. This trip went exactly as planned for the first three blocks. And then you got in. I didn't even get to a single Vista viewpoint. In fact, in the entire 140 year history of the Newtons following the trail, I am hands down the biggest failure of them all. But you know what? I'm still alive. And I gotta admit, today was pretty damn exciting. Are you serious? Yeah. When I get home, my dad's gonna kick my ass. But. Somehow, I sort of feel like it was worth it. You know what, Gary? We don't have to go home. What are you talking about? I still got that cheddar I stashed in my boot. We can pick up a used ride and... And, and stay on the trail? Forget the trail, man. Lewis and Martin already did that. Let's blaze our own trail, the Gary and Mike trail. Don't you see? God put us on this planet for a reason, Gary to discover America at the dawn of the new millennium. What do you say? I don't know. You can always go home and face your dad. <sighs> Gary and Mike trail, huh? All right, Mike, I'm in. Don't you see, Joe? God put me on this planet for a reason to exterminate evil at the dawn of the new millennium. And evil, my friend, is a perp who goes by the name of Mike Bonner. That'll be 1874. You have a nice day. Sixty-four Bel Air, she's a beaut. Who do you want for it? I'll let you steal it for 1800. We only have 250. Deal. Can't believe you let it go. Now where are we gonna do the nasty? Oh, man, do you smell something? Yeah, some dead presidents, man. That was genius saving us 50 bucks. Sorry, Mike, it's already spent. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> what are you gonna name her? Um. I think I'm gonna call her Snowflake. Oh. Thank you, boys. You you really made her day. And again, if we'd have known that that other rabbit was a pet, we never would have eaten it. Mm -hmm. Go play with your bunny, sweetie. So, Mrs. Henderson, are you tired? Excuse me? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Okay, you know, Mike. So Come on, we gotta get going. We gotta go now. Later. God, I hope not. 
So where are we headed? I don't care, Mike. As long as we don't go home. You're watching Comedy Central. If you thought freshman year was rough, wait till you see it animated. Stick around for undergrads. Coming up next.